Hello everyone, my name is Ishan from FPN Automation and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'll be guiding you through the process of creating a task in Microsoft Planner from an email using Power Automate. Specifically, we'll focus on setting this up so that tasks are created automatically when an email is received from a particular person. Now, why is this useful? Uh, let me give you an example. Every week, my boss Khaled sends me an email asking me to create a new video for our YouTube channel. With my busy schedule, it's so easy to overlook at these emails. So by setting this automation up, I can ensure every time I receive such an email from Khaled, a task is automatically created in Planner. And this way, I can have my reminder and it also creates a due date for me all automatically. And on top of this, this will help me manage my time more effectively and efficiently. So let's dive in and get started with this useful time-saving automation. First, we're go gonna go ahead and go into our planner and I'm gonna create a new plan. You can use any template that fits your criteria. In my case, I'm just gonna use a new blank template. I'm gonna name it video ideas and if you have a group that you want to add this to you can go ahead and do that in my case i'm just going to add it to our kajabi content group and click create now by default you're going to have this to do here that's called a bucket so in, instead of that i'm just going to name it emailed tasks so i know that these tasks are from the email that i received from Khaled. And then now we're going to head over to Power Automate. Once on the dashboard, we're going to go ahead and click Create. And then we're going to choose Automated Cloud Flow. So this type of flow is uh, triggered by an event. So we're going to name it Emailed Task Creation. And the type of trigger you want to use is when an email arrives. We want to look for when a new email arrives, version 3, and go ahead and click Create. So once we are on the designer, I'm going to quickly switch over to the old designer. And now, if you have specific folders that you want to read the email out of, you can select that. In my case, it's just going to be the inbox. And now go ahead and click Show Advanced Options. and since we want to create tasks only when we receive an email from a specific person we're gonna use their email address here in my case for demo purposes i'm just going to use my own email and then that's it for our trigger next step we want to add is create a plan uh, create a task So we want to create a task in Planner. Go ahead. Now we'll need to populate all these fields, which is very simple. So first, we're going to have to choose our group ID. In my case, if you remember, I placed my plan within the Kajabi content group. So I'll click on that. Then plan ID is the name of the plan ID uh, plan we created. So in my case it's the video ideas and the title I'm just going to simply be uh, the subject of the email and the bucket ID if you remember this so whatever bucket ID you have you want to select that start time so I would be choosing the receive time of the email whenever the email was received and Khaled usually gives me a week to finish this task so to set that up as a due date, what we're going to do is switch over to expressions and we're going to type in our add days function and open up a parentheses. And now to make it a little easier, we're going to switch over to our dynamic content. And within this parentheses, we're going to click see more and we're going to choose our receive time again and then go towards the end after the bracket we want to put a comma and seven days so basically what this is doing is it's setting up a due date seven days after the email was received 
and now we're going to use uh, the to field for our assigned user ID because the task was assigned to me. So anyone uh, that the email was sent out to by Khalid uh, will get this task in their planner. And lastly, it's uh, all on your preference. Uh, in my case, I'm going to use the color green. Uh, so when the task is created, it's going to be a green color. And that's it. We're set up all here. Now we're just going to click save. Give it a second. Once it's saved, we're going to click and go ahead and test our flow. So you want to test, manually test. Now it's going to ask us to send an email to see if our flow is working properly to check. So I'm going to go ahead and go to my email outlook. So I already have this typed out, but you can create something similar like this for testing purpose. So I'm sending an email to myself. Uh, this is my subject line. And this is just a simple body I created. Now we're going to go ahead and send it. Once it's sent, we're going to have to wait. Okay, and now you should see that your flow ran successfully, all the check marks. And now if you go to the planner, as you can see, we have our task and our due date is seven days after the received time of the email. So thank you so much. If you like the video, please give it a like and subscribe for more automation related videos. Thank you.